Good morning. It is very difficult for me to speak about Professor Makhlouf Haddadin in the past tense. I had two fathers, and I lost one of them on September 21, 2022. I took two undergraduate organic chemistry courses with the late Professor Haddadin. I did not do any research with him. I did not publish any papers with him. He was my office neighbor for 18 years. I hear him when he laughs. I hear him when he sneezes. I hear him when he breathes. For the past 18 years, he was always the first to see me in my office. And he would repeatedly ask me if I had slept in my office. I would see him in his jogging suit at 6 a.m checking on his chemical reaction in his lab before his daily walk. In fall 2009, Professor Haddadin gave a research seminar in our department upon his return from a sabbatical research leave at the University of California, Davis. At the end of his seminar, he got emotional and he cried in front of the entire audience when referring to people leaving AUB after lifetime service. This had touched me so deeply. I took the first opportunity I had to properly honor him, and that was on February 2011, when we honored him on the occasion of the International Year of Chemistry, IYC 2011. One day later, on February 8, 2011, we established the Makhlouf Haddadin Endowment, and we gave the first Makhlouf Haddadin Student Awards to outstanding graduating chemistry, undergraduate, and the graduate students in May 2011. On March 18, 2015, three days before his 80th birthday, and commemorating his 50 years of distinguished service at AUB, we launched the Makhlouf Haddadin Lectureship. The 2022 Makhlouf Haddadin Symposium was supposed to take place in October 2020 and was postponed because of the pandemic. We wanted this symposium to celebrate the lifetime achievements of Professor Haddadin after his 57 years of outstanding research, extraordinary services, mentoring, and inspiring so many generations of students. In fact, Professor Haddadin had served AUB for more than one-third of AUB's history, of AUB's lifetime. The passing of Professor Haddadin two weeks ago makes our symposium a memorial symposium, including the current symposium, 20 world-renowned chemists would have delivered the Makhlouf Haddadin lectures. I am very thankful to our distinguished speakers, nine distinguished speakers, for their time and for honoring us with their presence. We will continue to honor Professor Haddadin's legacy with the annual Makhlouf Haddadin Lectureship and Makhlouf Haddadin Student Awards. I want to particularly thank the Haddadin family for their trust, and for having me as a member of their family. I also want to sincerely thank Dr. Yusuf Hamati for his incredible generosity and support. The late Professor Haddadin was a giant. He is rooted in our chemistry department, and our department will never be the same after his departure. In the memory of our beloved Professor Makhlouf Jirius Khalil Haddadin, I kindly ask the audience to stand for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. I invite uh, Interim Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, Professor Salma Bujaudi, to give his remarks.
Good morning. Uh, President Khouri, Provost Dawi, Professor Hadadin's family, esteemed researchers and colleagues. It is with a heavy heart that I welcome you to this version of the Makhlouf Hadadin Symposium. Professor Hadadin passed away on September 21, two weeks before this symposium and only a few months after he left AUB and the Department of Chemistry, a university and a department that he served for 57 years with utmost dedication and professionalism. In addition to his devoted service to the Department of Chemistry, Professor Hadadin served AUB in numerous important administrative positions, including Vice President for Academic Affairs, Acting Dean of Health Sciences, and Acting President. Professor Hadadin would have been tremendously happy to be with us during this important symposium to enjoy the presentations by prominent researchers and educators from around the world who are with us to share their knowledge and enthusiasm for chemistry and to, to celebrate our dear Professor Hadadin himself, a prominent international chemist who has contributed very significantly to the area of heterocyclic chemistry in which he published more than 125 scholarly papers in prestigious international journals. It is to note that a landmark event in Professor Hadadin's career was his co-discovery of the Beirut reaction, a reaction that impacted the field of pharmaceutical chemistry and yielded 40 pa patents in numerous countries. His most recent contributions included the Davis-Beirut reaction co-discovered with Professor Mark Kurth at the University of California at Davis. In 2018, Dr. Hadadin was the first faculty to hold the Boni and Constantin Isoridis Chair of Chemistry until his retirement. I was a student in the chemistry department, but unfortunately, I didn't take any courses from Dr. Hadadin. Unfortunately, I want to thank all the prominent researchers and educators who will contribute to the symposium and share their knowledge and important insights. I want also to thank Professor Kafarani, who has organized this symposium to which he attracted this group of renowned scientists to celebrate the, to celebrate the life and accomplishments of Professor Hadadin. I want also to thank those who helped in the organization of the symposium. I, finally, I want to thank those who support, whose support made it possible to organize the symposium. Dr. Hadadin will always be remembered as a distinguished individual, a remarkable scientist, an influential educator, and a cherished colleague and friend. May he rest in peace. Thank you, Dean Bujaudi. I invite President Fadlu Khouri to give his remarks. Good morning. Dear friends, colleagues, trustee, esteemed family of our eminent professor, Makhlouf Haddadin, good morning. The Irish, in my many years in the US, taught me a good habit, which is to celebrate someone's life as we mourn it. I know Makhlouf would want us to celebrate his life, so I'm going to be a little bit irreverent with permission from the family. because I knew Makhlouf Haddadin for 49 years. We had been planning for this day, as Bilal said, for a while, but we already know Makhlouf's reaction to this honoring, with his known wide smile that revealed a mix of humility, pride in AUB, so much wisdom, but for once in his life, he just didn't know how to react. Uh, we had arranged with Dr. Patra, who's chair of chemistry, to notify him that he would be receiving the university medal, the university's highest medal, honor for faculty, staff, even trustees other than the board chair. And uh, 
we didn't let him know why I would be attending his class. Paula just said, he'll come to your class, and he said, he's welcome, but he should take notes. That was makhlouf, whether it was adjusting my tie because it was too bright for uh, offering condolences, or telling me to speak Arabic like I grew up speaking with it. He was always free with his advice. I deeply regret that my father's ill-fated decision to make me take driving courses in the morning, where's Mary, made me miss his class, which was the reason I wanted to be a chemistry major before my father switched me to biology. Makhlouf fought that too. Uh, that's a day that I think for those of us who had the great privilege to be there, Dr. Patra, myself, the students, all of my security detail who loved Makhlouf, and when we would be on the rare occasions we would try to catch him, Dr. Arab walking around the track, they would become more protective of Makhlouf than me, and I told them the man can look after himself, believe me. Uh, so that was a day uh, that I will remember for the rest of my life, because he taught his class. He did not want anything to interfere with the teaching of the class, and then at the end of the class, we were able to let him know and let the students know that he would be receiving the university medal that he was unanimously chosen. His remarkable presence has been so ubiquitous over 57 years, and it continues to be so today in the coming years among all those whose lives he touched. The last three board chairs of the university on the day that I did the most obvious thing that anyone who knew me uh, saw was coming, which was to ask the board to have Makhlouf be acting president in the two months between Peter Dorman's uh, presidency and mine. I got calls from Dick Debs, Tom Morris, of course, Philip Khoury had to agree to it. He said, everyone's calling me saying, what a great start. I said, you guys don't know me, but you also don't know Makhlouf. It was a chance for us to reconnect. When my father died in 1996, Makhlouf came to pay respects. And of course, he introduced himself, Makhlouf Haddadin. I was a father, I was a good friend of your father. And I said, Waina Kirbain, in ta'ili, ta'ud ma'al abbal ta'azi. He accepted condolences after I had to grab him twice. So today we're holding this prestigious symposium. We are mourning and we are hurting for the loss of Makhlouf, but we are also celebrating the life of a great man, his contributions to the university, the field, and humanity. Born in Man, Jordan, Makhlouf first joined AUB on a full scholarship from the Jordanian Ministry of Education. After he received his bachelor's and master's in chemistry at AUB, he traveled to the US for his doctorate and postdoctoral uh, research. And since then, home for Dr. Haddadin has always been AUB. It's always been his alma mater. Even when he was invited for top universities who tried to recruit him, he'd go for sabbaticals, research leaves. And as, as a distinguished lecturer, he really never seriously considered leaving AUB. Even in the worst days of the Civil War, he said, maybe I thought about it, maybe I didn't, but I always knew I would come back. He came back in an even worse time. Always came back to teach, to mentor, to grow things, to direct research. He's one of the longest serving VPs for administrations or provosts in the history of the university. He served as acting dean of health sciences, acting dean of nursing, acting president at some of the most testing times of AUB. He's particularly celebrated for his achievements in the area of heterocyclic chemistry, which we'll talk about scientifically today. That resulted in the publication of more than 125 scholarly papers, the two famous patents that you heard about, but he never stopped mentoring, researching, teaching, making a difference. You've heard about his last widely patentable discussion, the Davis-Beirut reaction with Professor Mark Kurth. Makhlouf took sabbat, took, he called it a sabbatical, but it was a summer two month period. Uh, every summer since I started, he would say, I need to take some time from being your senior advisor. And I said, is that because I'm not listening well enough? He said, no, your Arabic is improving a little bit, but I need to be a chemist. And so he would go and he would work with his hands in the lab. And his impact on the field, not just of the pharmaceutical industry and the patents, but also on agronomy. 
Okay, they, that's what these reactions fundamentally contribute to, are massive. It was very fitting that he was the first faculty to hold the Bonny and Constantine Isidoridis chair in organic chemistry. Isidoridis was both partner and mentor to Makhlouf. They were, on some level, two sides of a, of a coin. He held that until his retirement. And his retirement, his last graduation, we had the entire faculty and staff and board of trustees rise to acknowledge a man who'd given everything to this university. Yes, Makhlouf was the son of Man, but he was also very much the son of Beirut, which he chose to honor with the naming of the equation he discovered, both of them. Over 57 years at this university, filled with excellence and dedication to service and science and education, the names Makhlouf, AUB, and Beirut have become synonymous to many, including Makhlouf and the Haddadin family. It is impossible to think of AUB, Beirut, and Makhlouf except together. Today, the American University of Beirut will bestow one of its highest honors, the University Medal upon this distinguished professor and this extraordinarily revered mentor and human being for his lifetime of service to the institution, his accomplishments as a scientist, an educator, a leader, his in unanimous election by the board to this final honor, as I mentioned, was announced in front of his class and his reaction was magnificent. It was, he was proud, he was happy, he was a little bit embarrassed, uh, but he felt at peace. Today, we thank him, sadly, in his absence for decades of outstanding research, extraordinary service, mentoring, generations of students, many of whom comprise the spine of our chemistry department, one of the strongest departments at AUB. But this was also a man who loved life. He loved people. He loved Arabic history and poetry. He would jubilantly write al mutanabbi poetry or even the lyrics of a song, tell a joke or recount the many interesting anecdotes that he witnessed with the world's most famous and most infamous too. He saw some of those in Lebanon. Whether around new acquaintances, students, or world scientists, in classrooms, receptions, or official ceremonies, he always had a crowd around him. You had to push people aside to get to Makhlouf. And he was sure to be the center of that crowd. One of his most delightful qualities is he was mischievous. He liked to play a joke. A few at my expense, always respectful, but he had a fantastic sense of humor. So as I mentioned, I met Makhlouf when I was 10 years old. He was a good friend of my father's. They'd gotten to know each other, both as undergraduates and also when Makhlouf was doing his postdoc in Boston, my father was doing his postdoc. But the first time I met him, there was something different about the man. He treated you like you mattered. He taught me something from a very young age. The people who really matter are those who are not looking beyond you to see who more important than you is behind so they can rush to greet them. Everyone was important to Makhlouf. All of the faculty, every one of you mattered. The students mattered. The staff mattered. He knew people by name to an extraordinary degree. He was an AUB icon, a mentor to generations of extraordinary chemists, scientists, humanists, physicians. He's literally both irreplaceable and unforgettable. At, on behalf of the university, on behalf of its board, its faculty, staff, its administration, its students and generations of alumni, we're very proud to be holding this symposium in honor of Makhlouf Haddadin, and we will continue to hold it in honor of his memory. We will make sure the endowment is in a good place so that long after Bilal is, is done, and yes, you need to spend a few less nights in your office and in the lab and more with your family, like him, we will continue to have this symposium in honor of his memory when all of us are gone. Most of all, we're proud to have this pillar of science of academia, the son of Jordan and Lebanon, the West and the East, whose legacy will live on as strong as was his passion for science life in the American University of Beirut. Now, I'm going to attempt something for which he would fault me, because unlike John Waterbury, I would pick, choose my own poetry and write my own Arabic phrases, but then I had to get through Makhlouf Haddadin and Mary Jaber because of my mispronunciation. And he kept saying to me, 
احكي عربي كانه ربيت باللغه العربيه I said yes I ربيت باللغتين بس نعم علمي So my friend Makhlouf I quote a poet you knew and loved well Jibran Khalil Jibran from your beloved Lebanon who said in his 1912 book Broken Wings Al Ajnihah Al Mutakassira on behalf of the AUB community because we all loved him فليكن وداعنا هائلا عظيما مثل حبنا We loved him and Jibran said, let our goodbye be as great and magnificent as was our love. But I found a poet that I had saved for a long time to speak on the occasion of two of the men I most admire, my father and my uh, teacher, my senior advisor, my critic, my friend. Uh, and this is from a Coptic uh, poet of the 13th century, Abdullah Jirjis, who was known as al-Sheikh al-Makin. And I think this describes Makhlouf per perfectly. Mala'a al-Sanabili tanhani bitawadu'an wal-farigatu ru'usuhun shawamikhu. The full ears of grain bow down modestly, while the empty ones hold their heads up high. Makhlouf was as full an ear of grain as any I have known. But his humility never allowed him to show his pride. The last two times we publicly recognized him, which he would always chide me for, he was accepting our thanks, our accolades, our respect, our love, while struggling with his natural humility. He lowered his head almost instinctively. That humility never, ever allowed him to show his pride. Today is a day to show our pride in Makhlouf Haddadin. There's a moment to celebrate this great man, this quintessential son of the American University of Beirut, abundant in his giving that others may have life and have it most abundantly. Dear guests and colleagues, thank you for your extraordinary work in support of this value tradition. Thank you for starting this, Dr. Kafarani. Thank you all for being here to honor our beloved Professor Makhlouf Haddadin. I wish you all the best in this symposium. I thank the extraordinary international colleagues who made their way here, including one of Makhlouf's own. Thank you, Hanadi. I believe this is as powerful a version of this symposium, which I've attended a few, as has yet been put together. I know Bilal worked day and night. So I'm going to congratulate you in advance on holding this magnificent symposium. I'll join you for the painful a uh, discussion of how you get top flight papers published and how, you, how many we reject. I did that for a few years with Makhlouf's blessing. I'm sure the symposium will be again an extraordinary success and an opportunity for students and faculty to establish fruitful collaborations and to learn from the masters and from the master himself. I would like to ask the family of Makhlouf Haddadin as represented by Mr. Mundir Haddadin to come up to the stage while I forward the university medal. Where is, where is the medal? Okay. I have to read. I need the microphone. Oh, is a fee. Okay. Uh, we can wait. We have time. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and on behalf of the board, the university, the faculty, the staff, the students, and the alumni. I hereby confer upon the late Makhlouf Haddadin the University Medal with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Makhlouf now belongs to the annals of the greatest of this university.
May I, uh, Dr. Kafarani, Mr. President, may I be allowed to say a few words on this occasion? President Khoury, distinguished guest speakers, ladies and gentlemen, I am Mundar Haddadeen, the junior brother of the late Makhlouf Haddadeen. This is indeed a very special day in more ways than one. Our dear brother Makhlouf was looking forward to it with satisfaction and expectation. He was supposed to be with us, traveling from Amman for the purpose. But fate decided otherwise and put an end to his life of achievements on this earth. He joined his ancestors and his beloved ones who made it to the other life sooner. It is also special because this grand institution of education and learning has bestowed on him this very high honor, the University Medal, in recognition of his contiguous service to it as a teacher and a researcher. I may add, Mr. President, that there are two years of his service to AUB that were dropped, so his uh, total sum of service to this institution is actually 59 years because he was a teaching assistant and lab assistant while he was making his work for a master's degree. He started in 1957 and got his master's degree in 59. But msamahin, you have been so. <laughs> Uh, the Board of Trustees has unanimously decided to bestow this high honor on him. It is to us, his family, a bit of a relief that he was publicly informed in class of this decision shortly after it was taken. But unfortunately, he left us on the 21st of last month, shortly before he was due to receive it from the hands of the distinguished President Khoury. On behalf of the Haddadians, I headed a gang of 15, 14 of them. They are all here with us, led by uh, Mr. Anwar Haddadin, the distinguished engineer and his wife. On behalf of the Haddadians, Makhlouf's family and the family of his ancestors and of the Hamatis, his mother's side, on their behalf also. And they are here with us, headed by Dr. Yusuf Hamati and accompanied by his cousin, uh, Engineer Samir Hamati. They are here with us in this uh, celebratory session of his symposium. So on behalf of the Haddadins and of the Hamatis, uh, I want to express on behalf of all of them how deeply grateful we are all for the life opportunity to have Makhlouf serve AUB and take it as his real home of work and residence. He lived but a few yards away from his favorite laboratory, lecture halls, and office. Untold scores of AUB graduates took his chemistry classes and enjoyed informal conversations with him. Makhlouf's legacy will live on with all that it has of diversified characteristics. In addition to his academic achievement, he introduced to our typically Eastern household, Western culture, as he acquired the same from AUB and from, he, from his years of residence at US universities, studying there, teaching, and doing research. The unique 
habits he introduced in our household certainly made a difference in our characters, our attitudes, and made a stronger impact on our future lives. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. President. And please relay our thanks and gratitude to the Board of AUB, Board of Trustees of AUB, for their recognition, uh, for their recognition of Makhlouf service and for delegating a member of that board to attend Makhlouf's funeral. He is with us, the distinguished His Excellency Dr. Marwan Mashr. Thank you all for your participation in Makhlouf Haddadin's symposium. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, we have exactly six minutes to start the first scientific session. So you, uh, I know the president has to go for a meeting until uh, we uh, hit 9.40. Professor uh, Odom, can you please uh, set up uh, your presentation? Uh, the chair of the first session is Professor Tariq Ghaddar. Can you please take over?